Hey, it's your boy from Fanatic, man. We back. We got some exciting news for y'all, man. Um, actually, we finna go check out a boat, man. I ain't tell y'all, but we finna go check out a boat. That's what we finna go do right now. Um, blessings to the channel, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody who been rocking out with me, you know? I ain't saying it like I got a thousand or a million followers, but to the little hundred I got almost, you know, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all some real ones. So, without being, you know, without further ado, we gonna head out, go look at this boat. And we gonna keep y'all updated, cause we might just cop it and we gonna be on the water. You feel me? So just hold on. Yo. So I know I kind of been ghosting y'all, man. And it's been a while, but I promise y'all, y'all gonna be real surprised when y'all see what I got right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. Yes, uh, your boy went and finally cop his first boat. Ready to give y'all a little rundown and everything of it. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk y'all around real quick. That's all I'm saying. Got your nice four stroke, four stroke Mercury, 20 horsepower. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do this little walk around first. And then I'm gonna get into the boat. So, yo, what's good, man? So, your boy's back. I'm actually gonna go, go ahead and show you guys the boat more in depth. Um, I even more in depth, but I was outside uh, when I was doing those other videos. And I didn't really like too much like those videos, so I decided to bring the boat in and um, give you guys a way better look and closer look. So, yeah, man, as you see, man, it's all dirty and stuff. Got a whole bunch of uh, dirt and stains and all that stuff on the floor and the, and the actual inside of the boat. But don't worry, we'll go ahead and um, clean that up. I'm gonna actually scrub it down tonight with a, a little concoction I made. And then after that, I scrub it down and clean it the best I can. I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice coat of paint on it, man. And um, yeah, man, she's gonna be looking good after that coat of paint, man. That's You'll be surprised with that, what it'll do to your boat, how to make your boat look. Um, so let's go around. Go ahead and show you guys the back. Nice four stroke, 20 horsepower Mercury, 2018. Um, my buddy actually that lives next door to me helped me move it, uh, move it in my garage because uh, I don't got my truck yet with my hitch, so I had to get that out of the yard before it started pouring down and raining. So, but um, yeah, just keep going around. I mean, man, you can't you can't really want too much more for your first boat, given the budget I had, which is not a bad thing. Like I, I think I exceeded expectations, with my own expectations with this boat. Um, it was either this or a, or a John boat, man. I mean, in the long run, honestly, I think this will suit me better than the John boat will. It's fiberglass. Um, it's a V-front, V-haul, whatever you want to call that. Got a few supplies right here for a couple of repairs and stuff I'm going to do. Well, um, this is for the live well, the through holes I told you guys about. This is going to be for the paint, obviously. It's got a couple of things through and thrown in the boat. You know, as soon as you get a boat, it's like a storage, too. So, um yeah, man. Freaking, as you can see right there up top on the front, we got those little swivel seat connections, man. I got those seats thrown out, though. I didn't want to use those. They were kind of moldy and stuff like that. Got another swivel seat connection right here. Honestly, bro, I don't know if I want to keep that or, like, take it out for real. It's just like, hmm. I might leave it, to be honest. But um, we came, came, it came with five rod holders got three on that side two on that side so that's dope it's got actually uh fiberglass and plywood down up here for some reinforcements they were kind of some bigger people so you know it wasn't that it was soft a soft spot or nothing but they just did it just to uh reinforce it i've checked walked on it it's good um that live well over there actually has to be repaired so that's what this is for if you know what this is then you just know if not you could do your research but um that's for this that repair over there we're gonna do that repair um i just gotta go to walmart grab the drill bits for it to get that repair going um and yeah man like i said man once i wash her down get all this get some bleach and water on her bro and get all these stains like much as much stains as i can off of her and i'm able to paint it man it's gonna look 10 times better yo because the outside is not bad like the outside of the boat is green it's not bad at all <laughs> It's not bad. Freaking, it's real nice. It's, it's 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 a it's a it's a it's a sturdy, nice, you know what I'm saying? Reliable boat, man. Can't go wrong with this boat. Stomp knocker. Um, 
can't wait to get it on the water, man. I'm extremely grateful, bro. Like, you don't even understand. I'm I'm beyond gr- grateful, man. Like, just it being here, not even me being able to fish in it yet, just it being here, I'm, I'm just, like, happy as hell. So. Yeah, man, this is her. As you can see, bro, I, <laughs> yo, I brought these. Why ain't nobody telling me, man? Look, I played myself, yo. I brought this. I thought I was going to sand it, yo, right? Yo, this money ain't sanding nothing, bro. I'm telling you. Let me see. Yeah, that, that didn't do nothing, bro. I don't know, like, if this is... And I'm thinking this is, I don't know, jail code. Who knows? But it's like it's not even doing anything to it, bro. I don't see nothing happening. I need, like, an actual sander sander, man. Or actually, I might just need, like, some a heavier grit or whatever that is, 220 grit. Because I don't even think that regular sander block is 220 grit. And you can see right here where this paint is shipping up. Um, maybe this is from old age of the paint, maybe. Who knows? But um, I kind of, I want to pressure wash it, man. I'll do, I want to do a light pressure wash. I think it's either, like, I want to do a light pressure wash or just get in here with the with my hands and knees and just start scrubbing going to work. Because honestly, I don't own a pressure washer, so it's going to take longer to get the pressure wash. That's just a simple floor cleaning, y'all. I'll post before and after pics. But this is just a simple floor cleaning. One scrub. You know, I might go back over the floor again, but let's just look at the difference between this, man. I'll show you the before. So I'm going to go ahead and get these next.